<laughs> that's, that's my favorite. CDPR lied, people died. That's true. I 100. That agree. is the official Geeks and Gamers stance. Um, Adam Wofford for ten dollars. Speaking of video games, hey Ryan, do you think? What do you think about them bringing back Thrawn in live action? Hopefully, it's the real Thrawn from the EU and becomes the main villain. Villain with nothing to do with those three trash movies. Well, Adam, mm. it's, it's being controlled by the same exact person who massacred our boy in Rebels. Uh, Dave Filoni destroyed Grand Admiral Thrawn. And that is not Grand Admiral Thrawn. That is a blue guy with the last name Thrawn, but it's a completely different character. Um, and I don't really see how you can, uh, how you can fix that. Uh, maybe they can. Maybe they can do an amazing job. But I, for one, am not interested in seeing them do this and have all these people freak out about oh he's such a great character from star wars no you fucking destroyed him you cucked him and that pisses me off so no i'm not looking forward to it i'm looking forward to it of but course Ryan, very he fucking much, artwork so. in rebels he talked about artwork oh it's, it's, it's the same exact guy that the, a dude exactly the uh, same. imagine trying to tell me that this this fucking uh you know one of the most legendary villains in in fiction you know grand admiral thrawn gets tricked by a couple retards in the ghost. It didn't fucking happen. What have uh, I told you? He got beaten by a whale from outer space. Uh, did Filoni fuck the whale? Was peanut butter involved? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, yeah, so that, that's a, the long way of me saying it. No, I'm not super intrigued. Uh, here's my prediction. Uh, if this does continue, watch them try to redo the original Thrawn trilogy substituting ahsoka in for luke skywalker just wait for it that's what's gonna happen and 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 what would be wrong with that well like, can, can can you put luke skywalker in the story now like we are where we are so we can complain that the sequel trilogy happened it did happen you can't change it we are where we are moving forward what would you do would you would you bring sebastian stan in to play luke skywalker but write write your own shit first of all, instead of fucking stealing and pillaging this so, shit. But but I would if I was them, if I was them, I would bring in and try to tell actual stories with Luke Skywalker. I would have I would kill I would have killed but, a but, but that, but, dude, but that's but that's literally but that's literally pillaging. Pro, they're, so you're, you're saying they're not going to do anything from the EU if they bring Luke Skywalker in? They're not going to touch any EU stories because that's still doing exactly what you're saying they shouldn't do. How? What I'm saying, you if you bring Luke Skywalker think, in and, and tell new stories, you're saying yeah. bring Luke in and tell new stories. Yes, bring you're Luke saying there's Skywalker nothing, in and, 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 and they're not going to bring, dead. and they're not going to bring anything from any EU stuff. It's going to be completely all new Luke Skywalker stuff. You're saying they're not going to take any stories from the EU, right? That's Hopefully. what you're presenting. Hopefully. Yes, that, that, that's That'd what they ideal. should do. That is what they should do. So you wouldn't like them to just retell Heir to the Empire with Luke Skywalker, Sebastian Stan. It doesn't fit. No, not no. It doesn't fit in this universe. No, that's what they should have done in the fucking but, beginning. Uh, again, uh, that's what they should have done. Right now. So right, right now, now. No, I don't want that to happen. Right and now. no one should want that to happen. Right now. Right. Okay. Mandalorian I don't either. And, I don't either. And Heir to the Empire take place at the exact same time, just in different timelines. In the same year, they take place in the same timeline. Or they started right. in the same in different timelines that take place at the same year. Well, they again, but the heir to the empire is not rebels. canon. But heir yeah, to the empire canon. is not canon. Not canon. Right. Right. They, they right. chose to make it non-canon, but then they go, "Hey, well, let's bring back again, in Thrawn." Again, to clarify, and I've asked Ryan this before, but was it ever officially canon? Look ever. at the back of the book. I'm asking the question. Yes. Yes. It how was officially canon. How yes. do you decanonize something that wasn't canon? Well, again, no, but it's like putting clarity on it. So, the, well, the because there's a lot of confusion with George Lucas because he's he's he said a lot of different contradicting things over the years. Here's yes. one thing that George Lucas has said: he has never find me find me uh, a quote where George Lucas says the word canon. I, uh, I understand that. Maybe you've had the conversation, so, right? So what I'm saying is that uh, Lucasfilm, under the direction of George Lucas, uh, they created a hierarchy of canon. Right, they created a canon tier system because uh, it, when you have when you have 140 fucking novels, eventually there is going to be one tiny thing that might have been a little different, whether it's a hair color or something like that. So what they did is create a hierarchy of canon, and originally that was the movies above all else. Uh, obviously, what George Lucas created in the movies is above everything else. Then under that was everything that happened in all of these books and comics. 
uh, and including the main storylines of video games, such as Force Unleashed, KOTOR, things like that. Below that were alternate choices that you could make in video games. Uh, and then all the way down was like things like dark side endings to video games or Infinity comics or Infinity stories that were specifically identified as what if stories. Just like uh, that tag and bank shit. Yeah, exactly. There right. were there were a, a series, a couple things that they did were like, what if Luke Skywalker missed the shot on the first first Death Star and told you know kind of standalone, almost Elseworld stories like that. Uh, those were all the way at the bottom, obviously. Yeah. So 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 I think that that right there though, you said to create like a hierarchy of of canon. So so that already right. starts to put different tiers and confusion into the equation where there's not just this one stream main line of what is no, or that isn't. Whole, that, the whole that thing was to prevent the well, confusion. I, I, I understand yeah. that, but but it still does add confusion no, from, uh, from an outsider's perspective. It absolutely does. So what I'm saying is, regardless if you agree or disagree, when you say how can you decanonize something that wasn't canon in the first place, I think you're, you're, you're adding context to it. Was it the right decision or the wrong decision? Again, we are where we are now. So I'm saying right now, where we are, moving forward, how does it how do we move forward from here? And we can't retell the sequel trilogy. We can't bring Luke Skywalker back unless you're gonna bring somebody like Sebastian Stan in, which I'm not hundred percent against that. I said but you, I think I the said fans you should you, I said you I, can bring Luke Skywalker I, in. I understand that, but I'm just saying from a fan standpoint, how is that gonna go over? I think you're gonna have a divided base, just like anything else you do in Star Wars. Everything they fucking do is gonna be divisive. Every decision is gonna be divisive. This is Star Wars fandom. You're never gonna the, make the majority happy. You're just not going to do that it. Have to do with like your original point was: Can you bring back Luke into I didn't this say, timeline? I, I was without asking you stuff, and the question was, and the answer is yes. Yes, you can, but would it make like? Of course, they would use certain stories that would make sense from the EU, not just necessarily one particular part of it, but to pick and choose certain things out of the EU that are good. I don't see how that's necessarily a bad thing if you think it works. Because it was a build huge middle story. finger when they threw it in the bin, so I mean, it never fucking existed. Well, again, though, when you when you when you say it all existed, does it not add problems to the continuity when it that's all why we existed? Had the tier system. Again, which means that it's confusing. That's why there's a tier system to begin with because it's complicated. The, the tier system is because there's never been a story that was told like this that for three and a half decades was one continuous storyline. That's what this was. Uh, we've never had that in, in any other form of, of media where it wasn't a reboot or anything like this. Uh, it was one continuous thing. And when you have that type of story, inevitably there are going to be little small things such as uh, uh, such as like Chewbacca's little, claws. Yeah, exactly. Chewbacca's claws is a famous retcon. These are the these are the type of retcons and inconsistency we were talking about in Legends, where uh, Leia saw Chewbacca's claws and was shocked about it, but in reality, in a book that was written ten years later, but actually took place two years before that. She saw his claws one time. Those are the kind of inconsistencies we're talking about in the EU, uh, regardless of what we've got in Disney canon. But my, my, my point is, the problem with Disney Star Wars is the fact that Star Wars is not just the original trilogy and the fucking prequels and the sequels. Star Wars is a fucking vast universe. You can tell so many different stories, but they are rooted. They are, they're stuck because they need to use nostalgia to draw these people in. They need to use nostalgia and have a TIE fighter and stormtroopers. Yeah. So they're stuck in this one fucking era where they refuse to do anything actually creative because they're scared to death that it will fucking fail. That's what they need to do is expand Star Wars and tell well, stories in the Star Wars universe that don't have anything to do with Luke Skywalker. Stop bringing back all these characters. They all fucking happen to run into each other uh, when it's the Mandalorian. That's what we're seeing with this well, season yeah, of the Mandalorian. I, mean, I, I agree with that. I mean, Th look. That, they, but they, that is what they should do. That is what they should do. They've clearly, uh, look, Disney is, everybody you knows, Disney's fucked it up. EU to do so, right. I mean, I, again, I don't know. I don't, I don't call it, I just don't consider it ripping off the EU. I, I consider it, you know, finding whatever you need to do to tell a good story. And if that means taking ideas and crediting those ideas to the proper people, um, then do it. Like, I don't see why that's hey. a problem at all. That's just like fucking Nolan's trilogy. 
Nolan's trilogy has elements of previous Batman stories. Is he ripping off Batman stories, or is he trying he to throw tell the, the best previous story? stories? Did he throw the previous stories in the bin, and whenever it came up in conversation, was he I, nothing but disrespectful towards them? I, no, I no, mean, he was uh, not. Uh, yes or no? I mean, Bane does not resemble Bane. Even yeah, I know. He's, he's fucking this big. Right. No so is that did, so did he about. rip off Bane, or did he not? Like, what is your definition of ripping something off? I, I think when you fucking like, take a character called Kylo Bane, Ren Bane and reimagine him completely to not resemble Bane from the comics is not ripping off I mean like they fraught, they Bane, out, they Bane the does franchise. not Bane is nothing like Bane in the comics I know because he's this fucking big and we can't understand I, exactly what he's so that's a rip off white. so Nolan ripped off Bane Nobody that's not a rip off me a rip off is stealing the mask. what Bane, Nolan's Bane. How does Nolan's Bane represent Bane from the comics? It doesn't. Of his it's name? shit. The only thing he does is break Batman's back. That's, that's a, a that's a rip comic. off. That's a no, rip, a rip off. off. That's not what a rip off is. A rip off is stealing something essentially, ripped it off. You know. That's that's what Nolan's Bane is. No, it's an interpretation of Bane, a very bad one, but it's a, it's not a rip off. Kylo yeah. Ren is a rip off of Dark Knights. That's a fucking rip off. I would I would say like Bane is even more offensive than that because you took his no. name, you took his name and his look to an extent, but he resembles the character in no capacity cool whatsoever. So it's just it's terrible. Well, again, that's what you can justify yours is too. An adaptation. No, it was a fucking ripoff. So, <laughs> Kylo Ren, Jason Solo. So if his name was Jason Solo, would you feel better about it? I'd be fucking even more pissed because then it would So then you're not worse. looking for so so you can't be happy. I was fucking happy with before years. No, I've no, spent no, 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 no. So, so, so if it's but you you're justifying Bane, even I'm though I'm not Bane, justifying Bane. Tom Hardy's Bane was shit. Is it a ripoff? No, it was an adaptation. A terrible Is it one. disrespectful? Depends how you look at it. So, so this is the same thing. So if his name is Jason Solo, it's literally no one's Bane. What? If Kylo Ren's name is Jason Solo, he's literally Nolan's Bane. It's an interpretation. No. Not a ripoff. No, no. You gotta remember. N like, but the whole timeline a... that he was from was thrown in the bin, Jeremy. Like, they yeah, that, nuked that's it. Kind of the, that's kind of the difference, and that's where, where Lethal's coming from, is the fact that um, imagine if uh, when creating The Dark Knight Rises, uh, you know, Christopher Nolan was like, hey, look, look we just, we're going to do this movie. We bought all the rights to it. All this shit that came before, <laughs> go fuck this shit. This never happened. Go fuck yourself. Threw it in the trash can. Boom, boom, boom. And then he came out with Bane. It, that, it, that, that's it, the equivalent. I, like, I'll, I'll say why it's kind of hard to even draw any equivalency between movie adaptations of a comic and Star Wars, though. It's, it's because of the idea of separate interpretations always over time. Like, right. uh, DC Comics from the 1930s are not canon right. with DC Comics from the 1980s, which are not canon with DC Comics from last year. But Star Wars has always kind of been one thing, and now is, for the it's, first time ever, Disney unique. made it splinter off into, like, two... And they're saying that the one that people prefer is the one that doesn't matter anymore. It and that is down, just Legends. So like, it, that's it, why it's different. It comes down to your interpretation. Nolan's Bane is not Bane. Okay? But I don't really... Now, I read Nightfall. I was totally into Nightfall through, through, through the entire arc. Read the comic, everything. But I was on board with Nolan's realistic take, okay? Now, you look at G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. I'm a big G.I. Joe fan, okay? All of these characters, it's the most offensive thing as a fan I've ever seen because I am so attached to these characters and what they did to these characters by using their names and likeness but not resembling those characters is a slap in the face to everything that I followed. None of you would give a fuck about it because you didn't really care about G.I. Joe and you could maybe watch it and go, it's not really a good movie, but I don't really care. So it's all about your personal interpretation. That's yeah, all this comes I mean, down to if, is personal if Has, interpretations. If Hasbro said the movies are now G.I. Joe canon and the, the 1980s cartoon show well, that never again, happened, Star Wars we're not going to acknowledge that anymore. Star Wars is a very different that thing. Is why it's, that's why it's it's weird to draw the equivalency between like talking about the Star Wars EU argument and like adaptations of other properties. Because Star Wars is sort but, of unique in that until but, like but 2015, I'm trying to find, it was but, one but I'm thing. Trying, 
I'm trying to get to the core of the ripoff aspect because ultimately you can call a ripoff uh, an honor. You know, like they're honoring this character by using elements of this character. You can manipulate it and spin it to however you want to. So if you're taking pieces of the EU, you can call that a ripoff, but you can also say that's honoring the EU. Like, so it just depends on your personal interpretation of it and your uh, reverence for these stories and these characters or how attached to it you are. You well, can look at it go... as honoring or ripping off. Okay, well, we'll go with that then. We'll go with, you know, you can look at it two ways. Okay, we'll go with that. And then if we look at how uh, Lucasfilm has treated or what they, what they think of the EU and what they do with it, it's been very, very, very far from respectful since 2014 when they nuked it up until now. So there's nothing honorable about it. But what That's I'm saying is we're, do something, but what, it comes across as more of a fuck you. But, but my entire stance is we are where we are with Star Wars. We can't change it. So yeah. moving forward right here at this particular moment in time, moving forward, if you're bringing Luke Skywalker back into that timeline, Sebastian Stan or whatever, and you're using elements of the EU that work for the story, cherry picking elements that could be a good move. And you can look at that as either ripping off the EU or honoring the EU. But we are where we are. So it really just comes down to your personal interpretation of it. Star Wars is a piece of shit under Disney. We all agree with that. What they've done to the fans in all sides, whether you're an EU person like you guys or you're not an EU person like me, and you were more in tune with the films and this side of things and the Clone Wars and how they got rid of the Clone Wars and then eventually they brought it back or whatever and how they gave us a watered-down version of Clone Wars with Rebels, which was kid-friendly and bullshit. They've done a terrible job by fans, period. Nobody's arguing that. I'm just saying we are where we are. You can't change the past. All you can do is move forward. How do you move forward? That was the premise of my entire question. One of the yeah, things that people can, criticize about Rebels the most Luke Skywalker is... stuff. You can do new Luke's. You can do new Luke Skywalker stuff without continuing to bastardize the EU. Also, right. Rebels did introduce time travel, which literally changed the past. So, like, I mean, they, well, they gotta, <laughs> gotta make sure gotta make sure hashtag Ahsoka lives, right? Yeah, but well, I mean, I think they could have just had her escape. Really, well, the other like, thing too, <laughs> and, I, and I, the other thing too is I keep hearing like, well, Dave Filoni, so he's so attached to Ahsoka. I, yeah, I wish all creators cared about their characters that much to not want anyone to fuck with them, but them. What's wrong with the, a creator wanting to make sure his character is treated properly? Isn't that what we all ask for as fans? I'm just saying, of all the things people criticize Rebels time travel for, and granted, it causes a lot of issues. The one, the one hope that that brought in is they could Days of Future passed out the sequel trilogy with it. And the other but, thing uh, I continue to hear is like Dave Filoni didn't go with George's wishes. Okay, uh, the problem with the prequels is that everybody bowed down to George and didn't argue with him. I created Geeks and Gamers. Do you know how many people on the team tell me that we need to do things a different way? Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't. If everything that I wanted to do and Ryan was like, sure, Jeremy... No, fuck that. So the fact that Dave Filoni argued with George and George gave in a little bit, that's not a bad fucking thing. Like, I'm, I'm so tired of people, Dave didn't honor George. What? Fuck. That's the whole problem with the prequels is everybody was scared to death of George and nobody would challenge him. So now we're upset because someone challenged no. George? Like, I don't that's, understand this argument. That's not why people... Uh have their issues with Filoni. It's got nothing to do You've with it. You've never heard somebody say that George d wouldn't go along with... Or it's, it, it's all about why you just, It's all about why you decide to do this thing. So, uh, and the, the creator, the creator of Ahsoka, let's not get it wrong, is George. was originally George Lucas. Um, so Dave Filoni was a big part of this, but George was the creator of Ahsoka Tano. Uh, he wanted her to die. The story was Ahsoka dies during Order 66 um, for good reason, because Ahsoka became so so involved in this that it wouldn't make sense if Ahsoka Tano lived through Order 66. It wouldn't make sense for her to become a part of this rebellion, and uh, you know, which only a couple people survived the fucking Battle of Yavin uh, and not know the name Luke Skywalker, not seek out the name, not seek out Luke Skywalker about everything that happened. They were very careful in The Mandalorian to not mention Luke Skywalker by name or anything like that. I think because they know what a huge like plot hole it is, simply that Ahsoka is living right now. Absolutely. We are where we are. That's my entire right. point. 
What were you fucking asking me? What my fucking problem with Filoni is? I'm trying to explain one of the reasons that that is an what? issue because he, right? Because he would <laughs> rather, right? He wanted to do what he wanted to do with this character, regardless of canon, regardless of continuity, regardless if it fucking made sense because she was his pet, right? So that is what I'm talking about. One of the reasons I have with Filoni. So that's what I'm explaining. Right. And so, 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 so Filoni's the one guy that still stays true to what his vision is while Disney Star Wars crumbles around him. I think Disney Star Wars is the problem, not Dave Filoni. Uh, regardless of if it makes sense, regardless form. of it makes sense, yeah, the original no, 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 just because, no, just because everything else is shitty, don't sit there and hold Filoni responsible because he's the one guy who stays true to his fucking vision because everything else collapses around him. The problem him. is that vision, that thing right there directly contradicts Hey, the then fuck blame fucking Kathleen movie. Kennedy and her bullshit. Dave's the one guy who's standing his fucking ground and saying, fuck all this shit around it. Problem oh prior to there you go. I want more motherfuckers that want their vision to stay their vision and I stay true to shit. I want more people. Yeah, just like Ryan, I want more people that regardless of continuity or if it makes sense with the original trilogy, hashtag stand your ground. So you think if Filoni has a different what? opinion than Disney Star Wars is fixed? What? No, what? No, what it's still going to be a piece of about? shit. You are it's still, no. You're saying you're, you're saying all of these other things that's going on. It's Filoni's love for Ahsoka. Disney Star Wars is still a piece of shit, regardless if Filoni loves his character and stays attached to her or not. Right? I Does it fix anything? I completely agree with you. Does it fix anything? The, I completely agree that the conversation we're having about Dave Filoni and Ahsoka is a problem, just like the rest of Disney Star Wars is also a problem. Right? Uh, having. Having Ahsoka, if, having Ahsoka die uh, at Order 66, or if you want to bring her back in Rebels, uh, that would not fix Disney Star Wars right now. I agree that there's right. more damage so, that's been so, done than just so, Dave Filoni. So is Filoni the problem, or is the entire situation with Disney Star Wars the problem? He is, he is a problem. He is, he is a, a problem. problem. One of many. You get rid of Dave Filoni, it doesn't help. And in fact, I've even said this, Jeremy, that I think that Dave Filoni uh, knows more and actually cares more about Star Wars than a lot of the people working at Lucasfilm. But I simply agree. that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean, it's simply because something's better doesn't make it good or great. And I even made a video about this yesterday. No, but uh, what you have I to do is Dave mean, Filoni cool. has been a problem before Disney. When you when you look at when you look at when you look at the entirety, so what am I, I thought George was the end all be all. So like, didn't George give Filoni all of the power and the influence he has? What's that say? That again? I was looking. Didn't George that. give Filoni all the power and influence he has? Yep, just like Kathleen Kennedy. Well, again, do you really think? But Kathy and George didn't work together for like a decade yes, on war did. and everything like that. Well, not, not, Kathy not necessarily doesn't know on, anything no, I, about Star Wars. I, Kathy I, I knows nothing answering, about Star Wars. I started Wars. answering before you finished. I didn't yeah. know you say about lore. But, yeah, Kathy uh, no, knows Kathleen nothing Kennedy about. It. Worked very closely with George Lucas for years. She knows nothing about Star Wars. George literally took Dave under his wing and taught him and molded him. So to say that Filoni is a problem is to say George is a problem. Uh, so George Lucas, George Lucas on his right hand is Dave Filoni, his left hand is Kathleen Kennedy. So again, just because I, 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 just because he's friends with someone, but uh, my whole point is is, is it, it's all about George and his vision and honoring everything George wanted on one hand, but on the other hand, it's let shit on everything George did and every decision George made at the same time. Which is it? I thought your point was about Luke Skywalker and EU elements. Well, I was just bringing that up as a hypothetical because you guys said that that Ahsoka. You, you made this claim that Ahsoka was going to become the Luke Skywalker of the heir to the Empire. And my point was, well, you can't bring Luke into it. So we are where we are. So we can retroactively... That's how this conversation started? I don't even remember. Yeah, so we are where we are was my entire <laughs> stance on where we move forward with Star Wars. We are where we are. We can retroactively bitch, bitch about what's happened, but we are where we are. So moving forward, is that really a big problem? to kind of reestablish things from where we are. And I don't think it is a big problem, all things considered. That was my entire stance. It's not you a problem because you, you don't move. fucking care about it. So it's not a problem to you. Uh, well, I mean, I, do I, I, I think I think that they should just create their own fucking shit. There are so many stories that they could possibly yeah. tell. That is what they should do. Well, well, that they, is what they should they, do. Well, they've done that and it's failed too. 
I, well, maybe they shouldn't have fucking nuked what they had. Well, again, though, like so they done what you asked, and that wasn't good enough either. So, like, when, what, what do you like? So, what was the they show? Done what was the what shitty, we asked. Yeah. What was the okay. shitty animated what show? What was the shitty animated show that they made recently? Clone Wars. Um, no, 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 no. The, yeah, that resistance. Was resistance. That was Dave, Dave Filoni's baby resistance. Yeah, they they created that all new stories. How did that work out? Bad. Yeah, like, Dave Filoni. Yeah. So Pretty it's rough. bad. Right, it's bad. Like I'm not saying that it's good. So that <laughs> it's all bad. Everything they do is bad. Everything they've done is bad. So again, I'm going to say it for the ten thousandth time. We are where we are. So moving forward, I think that there's some good options if we're focusing on the Filoni Favro element and not the Kathleen Kennedy J.J. Abrams element. That's all I'm I saying. I prefer they did their Filoni Favreau thing. I prefer they did that than continue to bastardize EU stuff. As long as what they're doing is original, fuck, I'm cool with that. Probably won't watch it myself, but whatever. Yeah, Go for it. I mean, and that's my, that's my entire stance. Where are we are? So if we can move forward with the Filoni Favreau shit, I think it's a much better approach for Star Wars and move away from the Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams shit. That's it. That's my entire I'm stance. I'm someone that's very jaded, like I, I the think most jaded they're... of all four of us here. That I don't even keep up. I don't watch the new stuff, whatever. I'm not into it. The only thing that gets a reaction out of me is when Ryan goes, Hey, look, it's Dark Troopers. I'm like, You fucking kidding me? You know, that's my phone's back. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that the only options are it sucks or they bastardize the EU. I, I, re, I refuse that, uh, that dyad of choices. Well, uh, who this, said that? Well, that's that's Dude. what you're trying to say right now. That's, I'm that's happy. Like, wait a minute. For. You're I, saying, I, 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 listen. What you're saying is, well, they've done their own thing and it's bad. So why don't we just use some of the EU and move forward? That's uh, not what I said. Uh, no, no. no there are way more the Favreau Filoni, the Favreau Filoni element. There's some positive stuff there. Now, and what I'm saying is, what we have with the F Filoni Favreau element, there's some good stuff there, and Star Wars fans generally seem to like that. It's not great. It's not the best thing we've ever seen, but it's far better than what we've got. And there's a I lot of good elements. That. So th what I'm saying is moving forward from that, from where we are, seems to be the best move possible. And if that requires pulling elements from the EU to enhance those stories and make it better is a good thing. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's my entire stance. Well, you're 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 trying to set up this no. narrative that was well. If the the only option they might have is to just take these stories and stuff like that, because what they're doing I didn't by say take the stories working. as a cherry pick certain elements to make the story better that they're trying to tell. Yeah, That's everyone understands. Every, well, everyone understands what I said. Uh, we didn't need the exact quote from you. Ben. Well, I'm I'm, uh, I'm just clarifying, but that's my entire point, and that's not a bad approach from a Star Wars standpoint based on where we are. I don't think can that be challenged. Yeah, uh, they, yeah. They they took. They should make their own. again. I'll say it for the eighteen thousand time, and since I said it in two thousand fifteen, they should make their own shit because what they they decided to throw it away and. Uh, that's fine. I'm fucking. I'm past the point where I'm hoping that they would actually bring that into can. I, I, I'm past that point because I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't believe the uh, ooh, uh, the, the insiders that say they're going to use Mark's idea to change the timelines. I don't believe that's going to happen. Uh, what they should do is take the infinite possibilities that they have in the Star Wars universe and create those good stories. What they should stop doing is taking this thing that they threw away bringing it in and then presenting it as their own. That's what I have a problem with uh, in a big way. And we've seen it happen with well, one of these people involved for a long time, including and that's, the Darth Maul return. And that's literally what Christopher Nolan did with the Dark Knight trilogy. He no, presented no, People do not know that he pulled stories from Batman past and intertwined them in his own story. Nobody knows that. Generally, the general audience does not know oh, that. I was about to say, I was like, uh, a lot of people. No, do. I'm saying like Long <laughs> Halloween, uh, you know, obviously the Nightfall series. Um, they, they don't know that he pulled elements from other Batman stories and intertwined them in his story. It, that's never referenced. It's just that Nolan's a genius. Nolan did all this realistic stuff. They don't understand No Man's Land. They don't understand he pulled all of these little elements from previous Batman stories, intertwined them with his own story, and told what's perceived to be a masterpiece. That's never heard Nolan talk about all of the elements from Batman stories of the past that he's pulled. I've never heard him say it. Apples and oranges. One's, one's an interpretation or an adaptation. The other one's bastardization. It's all an adaptation of something. <laughs> no.
Right. Like, when's the last time you ever heard someone say Nolan borrowed elements from five or six different Batman stories and intertwined them into his Dark Knight trilogy? When is well, he ever talking, credited? Are we talking a general audience or anybody? DC when has anybody ever talked about that Nolan pulled stories from Batman past and intertwined them into the Dark I Knight feel like trilogy? I going to talk to like DC fans and they'll go, I, I hey, think, that, that, I think, that's, that's I think, kind of a fun I think thing from this one. That's yeah, a thing from that I think one. It's, I think it's widely known that he pulled Bane. Because obviously Bane is such a prominent figure, but people don't understand that he pulled elements of the Long Halloween and No Man's Land and well, he's right, all these it's other kind of hard to not notice it. I understand that, but it's still not something that's ever credited. So the normies don't know. So the hardcore people are always going to know if stories get pulled, correct? Yes. So even if you, you're asking for credit, I keep hearing credit, credit, credit. Okay, well, who knows? Credit. Who's asking for credit? We're saying don't Ryan basketball. literally just said it. We don't want cre like credit. It's the fucking we just have below 800 on. viewers now. I think we should probably move on. Hey, did look, you, we got did, a super chat. Did, Thanks, Chris. Did you, Joe. did you say that you wanted credit, Ryan? I didn't say I wanted credit. I said that I, as, as explaining part of trying to help people understand uh, where me and Lethal are coming from. You have you have these guys. You have Kathleen Kennedy stands up there, says there's no source material. We don't have anything like that. All the while, George has said specifically he's handing this treasure trove of things, the lore of Star Wars over right we have all this happen they shove it they fucking put their fist or they put their foot in it and shove it as bottom of the fucking trash pile then you have these things come back it's like oh thrawn oh what a cool character he is you don't realize that he's a fucking abomination of the actual character as bane Cause like, was because like because like you're saying jeremy uh they haven't done anything good well none of these adaptations that they've taken when they've taken these stories from the ace man universe have been good right They've all been bad. So that is a fucking problem. The, and the I, credit thing I threw in there because that's what they're doing. And Dave Filoni has done that before. He's tried to say that these ideas were his own. He's tried to say that, oh, well, we came up with this. And Katie Lucas, the daughter of George Lucas, had to interrupt him and say, well, Dave, that's not quite true, though. You know, we got that from the EU. So... It's 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 all a part of the reasons that I, I dislike a lot of things that Dave Filoni does. And, and I just think that same argument applies to Nolan's Bane. Like it's a it's a shitty version of a great character. Same thing that you're saying is one gonna happen with Ron. Congratulations. I'm glad you feel that way. So, I, I no, don't know I, what that I'm has not, to do with I'm not my I'm argument. just saying based on the logic that's being used. Like Bane does not resemble the Bane that we know. He just doesn't. I just and don't Thrawn's understand. not going to resemble I, the Thrawn that you know. What and I just what? Well, yeah, it's, it's shitty. Great. Uh, I just don't understand what that has to do with what originally I'm, happened. I'm which this is, is why I don't want. The course why I don't create, want them. This is par for the shit. course with creative process. Like it's not isolated to Dave Filoni. He's not the only person that's ever done something like this. Like I mean, that's what a big argument with the Snyder stuff is: is that these are characters that weren't honored properly. Boo fucking who? You guys like it? Other people don't. Okay, I, I great. Think we're rounding like a solid half hour on this argument, guys. Like, could we maybe like pivot back to the show and then continue it after? Oh, that's fuck off, Mark. Mark. Yeah, yeah. Fuck uh, off, Mark. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I tried. Uh, this, is, this is a Star Wars channel, by the way. So, yeah. I mean, it was built off bitching about Star Wars. So, um, uh, but either way, fuck geek, you, geeky pixie for two dollars. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe, according to Google, is number one. It's sold. seven in the fucking morning. <laughs> I don't really know what that means uh, as far as is it number one so this month or this week or on the Switch itself. I'm not sure, Geeky Pixie, but thank you. Um, Joe Satmosphere for $5. Trying to buy regular price disc drive PS5 right now is like trying to win the lottery. Well, I won the lottery, motherfuckers. I got it. I beat the scalpers. Yeah, he just can't, but he can't fucking play video games with this with his broken PS4 controller. I can't. I'm just really bad uh, right now because I basically can't move or really aim very well. You should uh, have been I'll... using that excuse for every other fucking match. He'll probably then. be getting his PS5 I, I soon, though. What are you getting it this week? Or... <laughs> December 2nd or December 3rd, right around Oh, yeah, there. that's that's so. bad. <laughs> Yes, That'll that's nice. right. That's right. George George Lucas took from Flash Gordon. George George Lucas took stories from every fucking thing to make Star Wars. Yet Baloney's <laughs> the fucking evil fucking witch from the West because he's fucking like it's, this is fucking entertainment. This is what these motherfuckers do. Yet Dave Filoni is the only person that's ever borrowed elements from any other story. Even though George Lucas literally created Star Wars by taking elements from what six or seven other things. 
Dave Filoni, though, only person that's ever done it, guys. Just remember that. Yeah, he, he took ideas what? from these and, and, ch and changed them up in his cre creations from science fiction. What he didn't do was take something that was part of continuity, part of canon, part of your fucking <laughs> company, these authors that had done things, say, all right. fuck all of this shit. That's what, that's what everybody says when they do it. Bane's no. a big fuck no. you. No. Bane no. is a big fuck no. you. Take all of this shit. All of this shit that has he ever said this? Created, said go fuck yourself. This is trash. We don't has need it. We this? don't fucking want it. I I'm playing. Dave Filoni made that decision. Dave Filoni made that decision. You're Lauren. You're oh Lauren. Case you, closed. You're Lauren. You, Done. you keep trying to pivot. Fight. I'm talking about Disney Star Wars the whole. Right, but Dave, Dave Filoni Dave made that decision to to bury the EU and say fuck you to the fans. I, I don't fucking know how involved Dave Filoni was in it. Yes I or no? I can't tell you. I don't know. Exactly. I don't know how exactly. He was in that specific decision from Disney Lucasfilm to say, "Go fuck yourself. We're done. We're fucking moving on." That is very different from being inspired by all these other things in science fiction. To take that thing that you used to told to go fuck yourself and bring it back as a fucking zombie and present it like that. That that is fucking a completely different argument. I don't understand how you could pretend. Yeah, that. I feel like you're kind of crossing over arguments. You are. He is. He well, is. I, I just don't like. At the end of the day, do you want to see these stories realized or not? Not in this no. current state. No. GMX yes or no? Or no, it's, it's no. Uh, there's no the context dog. to it. Do you want to see? So, so you're saying you want to see these stories realized in the exact way you want them realized? But if there's any difference whatsoever in any way, then you don't want them touched, right? What I don't what want I'm them is, in this new timeline because they right. don't fucking fit. So what I'm saying sense. though, so 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 what I'm saying though is if they are presented in the exact way you want them, with the exact portrayals of the characters and the exact way you want them in the right continuity, it's okay, correct? You're if, asking if, me if, if, if they in, in my perfect dream world, right? Yes, yes. Well, fuck yeah, because that's like taking the law. So, so it's not about not wanting them realized. Movie. It's the fact that you don't want them realized. If there's any difference whatsoever, then no, Jeremy, they can't be touched they don't every. fit in this timeline. They literally don't uh, fit. It's a square uh, trying to fit in a circle hole. I, I understand that, and that's fine. But what I'm saying, though, is that you want them presented exactly like you want them. If there's any change whatsoever, then you don't want them. That's what I'm trying to establish. I'm... Uh, Listen, if, if they were, if they tried to do, if they tried to do heir to the empire, uh, and and bring that to the screen, because this is what some people thought would happen. It's not ever what I thought would happen, but if when they bought Star Wars, they said, "Hey, we're going to continue to tell new stories after what's already been written, but we're also going to do live action, uh, animated, all this shit of stories that people may not have read, so that you can see them, right? If it wasn't exactly fucking." Perfect. I think a, a lot of people would understand that that there could be like a the Lord of the Rings movies. They're yeah, not exactly. exactly perfect. Exactly, just like the Lord of the Rings movies, but it's a, it's taking what's on the book and bringing it onto screen. That's a big difference. That's what so many people wanted. There's a big and, difference between that and what you're presenting. And this now. is the problem with Star Wars: is it's so fucking complicated, and there's so many different moving parts. When you look at everything, when you look at EU video games, comics books, movies, uh, animated stuff. It's complicated. It's always been fucking complicated. It's nah. not Batman. It's not Superman. It's not G.I. Joe. It's not these fucking different timelines with different interpretations. It's it actually not complicated. complicated it, it didn't become complicated until 2014. So you're saying, George, you're saying middle Chlorians don't contradict the original trilogy? In what way? Tell me how midichlorians... Why were the midichlorians never mentioned trilogy? in the original trilogy? Retconning Star tell Wars me, is always how, part of Star tell, Wars. Tell me how... Tell me what, what I'm what saying exactly is that there's no mention of midichlorians in the original trilogy, yet they're heavily, heavily part of the prequel trilogy. Heavily. If by, hev if by mean heavily, you mean... If by heavily, you mean that we heard it one time? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I mean that the fucking midichlorians was invented after... The fact in a timeline that happened before the fact. This is part of Star Wars retconning shit has always been part of Star Wars retconning ideas, changing it as it goes. People mad at George Lucas for the prequels. George Lucas ruined my childhood. George Lucas ruined Darth Vader. George Lucas did this. This is shit I've been fighting against constantly. Is the craziness of Star Wars fandom, and I love it, 
But my God, this has always been part of it. The thing I got tired of fighting was the social justice bullshit. So the fact that we're back to arguing about Star Wars lore and Star Wars characters and Star Wars shit means we're back to a good place with Star Wars, at least for the short term. So if we can continue talking about lore and characters and contradictions, then we're on the right fucking track. That's all I'm saying right now, because this has always been Star Wars. Always. Ever since the prequels came, this is Star Wars fandom. Fighting about shit, fighting about characters, fighting about continuity, fighting about if this matches up. That's fucking Star Wars. Disney Star Wars has not been about Star Wars. Disney Star Wars has been about goddamn identity politics, and if you hate women, bullshit, fuck all that shit. Arguing about continuity and shit, that is fucking Star Wars. And if we can continue on this path, we're on the right fucking path. That's my point. Well, I got invaded. I got to fight a guy now. Good. Fuck you, Mark. Uh, I, like, I, I understand you're trying to bring it back to, oh, uh, Disney, SJW's bad, continuity. Let's argue about continuity. That's good. You're Star telling Wars me that this has uh, an argument whoa. with the prequels? Shit, this guy's gonna say that again. You telling me continuity and retconning ideas was never arguments about the prequels and how George fucked everything mm. up with the timeline and how he should he be he changed this that he changed that. You telling me that what part of the prequel argument? Uh, if by part of I mean there were I, some I people who that. felt that way, yeah, Lethal even thinks that way to some to some fucking extent. Exactly. But that doesn't that doesn't change. Uh, that doesn't change anything about what we've been talking about the past 45 minutes, nor I'm any of my fucking, nor the, the validity of any of what I have been saying. So, I, I don't really I'm know. I'm saying it's par for the add. course for Star Wars fandom and the Star Wars timeline because it's all convoluted, it's all retconned, and it's all over the fucking place. So, so this, because midichlorians weren't mentioned in the original trilogy I'm saying it was and a, they mentioned them in, in The Phantom Menace, that, uh, that everyone not, should just be okay with I don't have a problem with it. With canon and continuity. I don't have don't a problem fucking, with midichlorians. They don't fucking bring it up. No, but the point is, is that it was retconned. That is a fucking retconned idea. An idea that did not exist in the that timeline. Is, that is amplifying ah. the fucking lore. That That is all that was. Oh, so now take it's amplifying the lore. Trilogy. And if you think, if you think that... So that, can somehow, I use that argument uh, for Ahsoka? Can I say Ahsoka's amplifying the lore? Can I use that argument now? Since you're using that for Midichlorians? Didn't, if she didn't actively contradict, then yeah, you could. I really got like, to figure out the timing don't on the anything. I'm using That's that line. Point. I'm using that line right there. Yeah, fucking, go for it. Ahsoka amplifies the lore. If that's if that's By what we're using as retconned ideas that George has implemented, wow. then that's what I'm using no, now. That retcon. Ahsoka that's has a... amplified the lore. That's not a retcon. That's a contradiction. Exactly. <laughs> Mid- Midichlorians aren't a contradiction. That, that's the thing. And that's I'm using that because that's what you decided to use. Uh, Midichlorians don't... I don't uh, have... You're not... Ju- you're justifying Midichlorians. Somebody has no problem with Midichlorians. I'm just bringing up the premise of retconning shit into this universe you're that was not it a fucking retcon! And what I'm saying is, it is not contradicting anything whatsoever. But That's the fact that it's not saying. mentioned at all in the OT is kind of strange. Is it really that strange? Because he inter- cause he interacts with one with one person that has because the only person you see that can use the force is Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Uh, and he got a fucking crash course in everything he needed to do just to fucking survive. Is it really that strange that Yoda doesn't mention Metaclorians? Is, is it just, really that I'm, strange? I'm, by the logic that I continue to have thrown about retconning of ideas, yes, it is absolutely strange. By the logic that continues to get thrown out about retconning of ideas, because when you retcon ideas, there's going to it's going to cause discrepancies. It just is. It just always is. No matter how minor they are, a retconning of anything in a universe with this many different ideas that have been retroactively implemented are always going to cause issues in the continuity. They just are. And this is why the prequels were so divisive, because of the retconning of ideas and characters and shit that happened. It's just, it's just always been like this. the difference between a retcon, a contradiction, and an interpretation. 
I, I absolutely do. And this is why I don't have a fucking problem with the prequels. Because I am using the word retcon in the terms of how the prequel argument has always been. Where people are bitching about Anakin. Bitching that this is not the Vader we heard of when Obi-Wan was explaining to Luke about his father. We never got to see that Anakin in the prequels. And the retconning of midichlorians and all these other things that Leia said. And the comments she made about her mother and all this shit. These are the things that Star Wars fans have been bitching about for years. So we're not doing anything differently than we've never done because Star Wars has Whoa. always been about complicated shit and ideas that were re-imagined uh, in a different timeline that creates problems in a future timeline. It's always been like that. Yeah, I, I can do how did Leia? How does Leia remember her mother? Come on. Fuck no, that doesn't make any sense. Right, exactly. Well, so there are some explanations that I don't really buy of that if you actually want to get into that and f basically a force imprint. Oh, but I don't buy any of that shit. Um, I, I do think that, you know, George did change his mind on that specifically and wanted to tell the story that Padme died in childbirth. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do think that that specifically... Wouldn't the mother that she remembers in Maybe Return of the Jedi be, like, um, Bail Organa's wife? That is that is another reason that people have used as some sort of explanation as to what uh, that's that what I always is. assumed she was talking about, or at least yeah, from the correct. prequels forward. Again, correct. Not a problem I have. It's just a question that's always out there. Like it's not like continuity. Luke's question was, "Do you remember your biological mother?" Like DNA test positive for sure. It's like no. It's, it's you remember your mother, and she's like, "Yeah," and he's like, "I never knew mine." That's pretty much it. Mark, I know I Star Wars. I thank yeah. you, Mark. Uh, Alabama game is starting soon and park hopping is live. We gotta wrap this up. And we got a lot of super chats, so I gotta go to I gotta hit this demon in the ass. <laughs> yeah, we're watching Demon Souls gameplay here. Uh Adam Wofford for two dollars. See what I did? I pulled a Thrawn. Uh yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, God. Spain Dragon ten dollars thing is fucking me up though. Is the old republic still canon or is it in limbo? Would it be better to go deep in the past or the future? The Jedi and their actual relics and myths. The characters fight new threats. I think that they, uh, the Old Republic is not canon anymore. Definitively not. They have said that it is not. However, I do anticipate that they will kind of explore that era. That is something. Listen, there's thousands of years that they have to explore to tell these stories. To tell about ant. If you want to name recognition, you have to ancestors of people that we know. Uh, you know all of these things. That's what they gotcha. Boren for another four super stickers uh, with the coffee. I don't know if that's a glitch yeah, or not. I, I killed that thing. Um, nerd cookies. Uh, we are where we are. I don't agree with Jeremy on everything, but I'm with him on this. I love the EU, and I'm happy for them to use it. And so was Dash for the record. Yeah, uh, and then nerd cookies for another Dash. Dog. What? Wait, what? What about Dash? Ooh, it, Dash. Dash. I didn't Go know ahead. what he said because Mark's running his mouth. Dash he's, is one of those people where he's kind of like, whereas me and Ryan are like, why the fuck would they bring that in if they knew that Dash is like, oh, they did the thing. That's kind of cool. He's like, it tugs his heartstrings for a second, then he realizes the universe that it's in. That's basically <laughs> yeah. how Dash has described it to me. Uh, <laughs> nobody like talks about Diablo. He's like, oh, I'm going full Diablo, but it's the most anti-consumer thing out there. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd cookies for $2. George sold his baby to white slavers. True. Well, I sold them to the, him. to the white slavers. Uh, Gigi oh, God. $2. What the fuck? Resistance was made for children age 7 plus. Uh, that's and true. retards. I watched yeah, one episode. Never, never, never wanted to watch anything else. That was some dog shit. Uh, Nico Blue for 5 euros. Say, stay strong, lethal. I don't budge. Uh, Geeky Pixie oh. for $2. Disney has never made any of their own stories. Uh, no. Krista Joe for ten dollars. No one did his interpretation of Batman. We could recognize the characters. Uh, Abrams and Kennedy ripped off existing characters and stories in the franchise, yet claim they're brand new. It's not the same. Uh, thank you, Krista Joe. Butter biscuit. I, I would just like to ask. I would ask ten people if they know about Long Halloween, No Man's Land, and uh, Year One. Uh, in the implementation of those stories in the Nolan's trilogy, I bet you, I bet you, ten out of ten normies have no fucking idea, and that's my entire point. The people that know, know. So the people in the EU, if they see elements of the EU, they know. So you don't have to sit there and make widespread credit. 
the normies have no fucking clue that Nolan has all these interpretations of well-known Batman oh, stories. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. That's my point. Okay. Uh, Butter Biscuit for $5. Sorry, behind on stream. Jeremy, you have some strange takes. Uh, I'm with Ryan on ripping off characters they got rid of, and I only like the KOTOR stuff. Thank you, Butter Biscuit. McKinney 90 for a dollar fifty Rainbow Unicorn. Thank you, McKinney 90 <laughs> uh, Jade Shadow for $2. Uh, hashtag Let Lethal Sleep. Hashtag It's Been 84 <laughs> Years. Uh, These people don't let me sleep. They don't fucking... The last fuck time it, no, I laid down... Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to fucking play some Call of Duty Cold War after this. I'm making Lethal stream it. So no, That's what happened last time. Last time I was lying in bed. I got in bed, was lying down. I get a message, look at my phone. It's Krista. Beep! Do you want to host the premium Cold War stream? Yes. Uh, McKee, uh, nerd cookies for $10. Thank you, Jeremy. You're speaking my language. I appreciate all of you willing to get into this discussion. I love the passion on all sides, even though Lethal is sleepy. That's uh, what we do. Arguing is fun. Debating is fun. We're not little bitches. We can deal with different opinions. Um, this isn't the kind of funny game circle jerk. We actually have different opinions where people yell and cuss each other out. That's what we fucking do. Uh, McKinney 90 for $5. So entertaining to watch Ryan and Jeremy argue like a married couple. Uh, <laughs> you hear us on the phone. A lot, lot worse. A uh, lot of gamer yeah. words. The, that, that's the only difference. Divorce. The only, the only difference in my mine or Ryan's arguments on the phone are a lot of a lot more gamer words. That's true. They so almost flipped out on stream. <laughs> uh, Ross Gecko for two dollars says, "Ryan, you need to get laid. Chill. Jeremy made you. Ima imagine someone with imagine someone with an animated avatar telling me to get pussy. That's Wrong the fucking animated that, avatars. That, that's the fucking irony of that. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you." Yeah, Sir Ruin of House Roundhead for uh, $5. Jeremy and Ryan, I'd love to see you start a... Uh, I'd Only love fans? to see you start oh. a bar fight over Star Wars, Ahsoka, <laughs> and Midichlorians. Everyone in the bar's reaction would be great. Uh, yeah, see, see, that's the thing is... In Maybe people, maybe I don't do a good enough job of explaining it. Maybe it's just because I, I, do, I, I, I do it so often and it's rare. But when I'm making a point, like... I don't. I have no problem with the midichlorians aspect. None, whatsoever. I, I I'm taking mass criticism that I hear from other people and applying it to the situation. So me and Ryan wouldn't argue about midichlorians because I don't think we disagree on midichlorians. No, I, I think you're just. I think you're just fucking grasping at anything possible to help make your point. That, well, that's, that, that's, that's what I. That's, that's, that's what called I think a, you were doing. That's, even that's if it, has, it has nothing to do with what I'm talking about or with what I'm arguing about, you're bringing something else that, that can spin it in another direction to argue about. Yeah, something. yeah. I'm sorry. Instead, my, arguments of, just, of, my, uh, my arguments are just my my arguments are just too intellectually superior to you, and you can't but, keep up with. No, they're not, they're not intellectually superior. They're not. I'm a high school dropout, and I'm still on another level. That's why you try to spin and grasp anything that's. Not yeah, related to what we're fucking talking about. <laughs> uh, so Ruin of House... Or, I said that one. Uh, Timon Flip for $5. Ryan and Lethal, you should learn from Gary. Don't argue with Jeremy. He tries to twist every argument, even his own. I agree, uh, Timon Flip. Uh, Slimbog for $2. Ryan, it's only fantasy. Why do you have to be mad? Because uh, oh, I actually, because I actually care about things. You fucking loser. That's why <laughs> I actually care about this shit. Why do you have to be mad? Yeah. Just eat it. Just fucking eat yeah. it. Eat, consume, I mean, consume, consume. I Let's mean, if that was, yeah. If, if so, if my entire, if my entire, you know, stance was to just uh, twist and, and divert, yeah, that that that's the trump card right there. Like that's that's weak though. Um, you know, to say, well, it's just it's not real. So why do we care? Like that's that's weak sauce right there. Video games aren't real. Why are you watching this stream? Like, it's shit like that. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Blue-Eyed Scorpio for $2. Everybody's thoughts on Filoni and Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> if only we had time to get into it. Uh, Andrew says Jeremy thinks he's Ben Shapiro. No, I'm far better than Ben Shapiro. Uh, I don't call Trump racist and sexist and Is your uh, wife evil. a doctor? Is your and wife then... a doctor? Because my wife's a doctor. <laughs> And I don't I, know I don't, if you know, but my wife's a doctor. I don't back off of those points when it's uh, politically convenient for me like Ben Shapiro does. Uh, ben Shapiro's a snake. Even though I like him, he's still a snake. Can you say the word pussy, or do you have to say P word? Pussy. Big, <laughs> fat, wet, sloppy pussy. And Ryan, I'm, Ryan I'm, I'm offended. You should have said, said wet-ass P word. Okay, <laughs> That would have been a lot more appropriate. It's a family show. 
<laughs> Ryan showed me a picture of his sister, man. She's got some fucking titties on her, man. Yeah, Ben Shapiro's sister is a meme in certain circles online. Uh, Butter Biscuit for $5. Jeremy, you make me feel like I'm in pre-calc senior year of high school, beating my head against the desk with your Star Wars takes all over the place. Uh, thank you, Butter is that Biscuit. A, is that a compliment or a shot? I can't tell. I think it was. I think he's I think, saying, like, you're making me smash my head against the wall. Okay. Yeah, basically. Uh, Smooth Jam California for five pounds. Jeremy has a decent point, but we could always see another Bane in a future Batman film. Disney only gets one chance at doing Thrawn in live action right. Uh, thanks, Smooth Jam. Like, to me, like... Uh, I, I completely, I assume this is going to be a continuation of Rebels. That's what they're doing. It's a Rebels sequel, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think you're going to see the same Thrawn that we saw in Rebels. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, to be fair to, to like, no, you guys really don't like what Filoni did with the Mandalorians, and he's kind of retroactively tried to fix that a little bit, correct? It, it depends on your perspective. I, I, I think that this whole season, I think there's been a lot of little things in this season of the Mandalorian where it's like, uh, wow, uh, that wasn't our plan, but we need a Band-Aid to fix this. So that's why they were like, oh, yeah, by the way, Baby Yoda, he was totally trained. Bunch of masters trained this guy. That's why he can use the force. You things right. like that. I think. That's yeah, a I mean, I was honestly most blown away by the fact that they're like using the force requires a lot of training and discipline. I'd be like, whoa, shots fired at Ray. <laughs> Holy hell! Yeah, I, I, th I think that things like that. Uh, I do think they're kind of writing this as they go along. Uh, as far as if they had always planned for Mandalorian to meet up and to be oh some specific tribe, maybe I don't know. I, I don't know what they were to plan so, with that. So the overall point I was trying to make was uh, I'm curious if, like, I don't know if Thrawn had widespread criticism in Rebels. Maybe it's just because a lot of people didn't see it. Uh, I don't think Rebels was uh, consumed by the masses. It wasn't. But, it was on, like, Disney yeah. XD at yeah. a weird fucking time. Yeah, I, I know there is criticism of, of Thrawn, but I don't, I don't know if it's widespread, so I don't know if it's enough to really turn the needle to actually get him, you know, changed or any retconning of sorts from that perspective like is what's happened with the mandalorian possibly i don't think there's enough widespread outrage on it mainly because i don't think enough people saw it uh uh Ra or sorry wolf spain for 2.99 is it worth it to buy cold war or modern warfare yes yes there you go probably cold war god uh, damn it don't uh don't don't get mark to answer just let him keep playing uh, Ross, I can't well, wait to if play you, if you, well, if you are uh, buying it for the campaign, I wouldn't really judge. But if you're playing it for the multiplayer and the campaign, and you're planning on playing it, well, I, well, possibly, but I still wouldn't. That's basically my question. Every truck you see. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, yeah, Cold, Cold War is good. Cold War is good. Maybe if they drop the prices on Call of Duty games after a while, more people would be able to play them. But I guess because they sell enough that they hold their value, so it's, it's fine. Activision's but best they, company ever. But they don't hold their value. That's the thing. <laughs> well, then why why did I have to buy Black Ops for $50? Black Ops 1 in order to uh, play it again. First of all, that's on PC. But if you go to a GameStop, you go buy Black Ops 1 right now, it's like $5 fucking dollars. I, okay, I mean, fair, but I can get any first-person shooter from 2008 on Steam for, like, six bucks now. Well, except for Call of Duty, that's still, like, almost full price. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't speak to Steam, but in terms of the map, I would say the masses probably buy Call of Duty on consoles, and uh, you they're, they lose their value after a year. I don't know. Buy, find new copies and let me know what the prices they're running I don't at, think they have any new copies left out there because, like I said, after a year, they're pretty much irrelevant. So that's ha that's what happens with annualized games. That After a year, it's irrelevant. Like, maybe not so much this year because of Warzone and Modern Warfare, but generally speaking, with Call of Duty, they're annualized. So after a year, it's like Madden. They're kind of irrelevant. Yeah, they, they do drop quite a bit. Uh, I remember I bought a couple... Actually, on Black Friday a couple of years ago, I bought, like... A too old new, a too old like sealed copy of whatever Call of Duty game it was for a dollar a piece, and then I sold them on eBay for like six dollars, made a shit ton of money because I bought like twenty. Yeah, anyway. uh, Chris, Chris so Joe says, Jeremy, you're not invested in the EU like Ryan and Lethal have been. I agree. That's why I said it's all a matter of perspective. Just like they don't give a fuck if GI Joe is fucked over on the live action front, and they could care less, and they shouldn't. But it, in my perspective, it's one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. Um, it's all a matter of uh, 
perspective from your perspective and your experiences. That's 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 my entire stance right. on it. And since I don't agree with that thing, or if, since I don't know a lot about that, I'm not invested in that thing. It might not personally offend me, but to see how you fucking reacted to well, it. Well, no, but I'm, like, you know I'm invested in the that's I'm invested in the world that though. That. It's fucked but up I, but, that they did that. But I'm you. invested in the Star Wars universe, so there are certain aspects I look at it from a different perspective than you completely. So that's that's the whole stance. So I agree. Uh, just like you, you in sports and me in sports, we see well, we actually don't see things differently. Okay, we don't, now, dis who, who we don't disagree. Boy? We don't disagree on a lot, but when we do disagree, it's a fucking shit show. So, who was, sports, who was worse, Michael Clark or Warner? My, Michael Clark's a fucked. He's a yeah, fuck. he was pretty bad. I mean, what? This rugby. Yeah, player Clark was worse. Yeah, I have Clark no idea. Clark Aussie football. Uh, Clark came in after Ponting and just lost everything. It's like Australia's number one. Like you just don't fuck with Australia. And then Michael Clark comes in and it's like, ha, Australia, fuck him. Uh, Ross Gecko for $2. Ryan, my avatar aside, uh, so regardless of the fact that I'm a virgin, you still need to get laid, is basically what he says. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that, Ross. I uh, appreciate you being concerned. Uh, Lost Jedi 22 for $5. Normies know full well that comic book heroes and villains are based on comic books. Did the public believe that the Joker was invented by Burton? Uh... Thank you, Lost Jedi. What was the question? I didn't hear it. He says, Normies know full well that comic book heroes and villains are based on comic books. Like, they don't assume that because I, they saw something in Iron Man that uh, you know, John Favreau created that villain. Did the public believe that the Joker was invented by Burton? Well, no, because the Joker's a, 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 Joker's a widespread, uh, you know, well-known villain. But I'm saying the stories that Nolan pulled from do not get enough credit Whereas his Dark Knight trilogy is revered by so many people, but these people generally don't know the stories that helped inspire those movies. That's my entire stance on it. I mean, if they would know if they cared, though. Like, I mean, it, it doesn't take a long time. Normies don't around. fucking care. That's the whole well, well, point. Then, then why are you asking them? Because like, we well, were, what does their opinion really matter? Because, because we were talking about giving credit about where these stories came from. And my point was, was the people that need to know or should know already know. And the people that are going to consume this, the 90% of people that, that would get it, you know, consume it, the masses will not care, don't care, and will never care. So why do we need widespread credit? Widespread credit was not given to all those stories with the Dark Knight trilogy. I don't know. I, I think it's not. So the people that need to know will know. I agree. Uh, this is, listen, if there's any argument, regardless of who you support, this is a death note for Jeremy. Uh, Eric Maldonado says, I support oh, you. Yeah, check, <laughs> mate. Check, B mate. BPFO. <laughs> Anything you've ever said that was correct is now instantly incorrect. Like, uh, no life failure. <laughs> hey, hey oh, I got, I've got a better one. I've got a better one. Uh, John Campia agrees with you guys on Ahsoka, so that infinitely makes me far more credible now. John but, Campia is a, a, a big time Ahsoka hater, so you guys have John Campia. I'll take Eric over John fucking Campia. Hey, even a fucking broken so. clock is right twice a day. <laughs> uh, and John Campia has a broken cock and a broken clock. So whereas <laughs> Eric's just broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pro Force broken. Uh, up the ass. For, well, I disagree with. I disagree with. Campy, I saw a little bit of his fucking shit. I don't think that uh, Ahsoka ruins the Mandalorian Oof. by any stretch of the imagination. Did he say uh, that? Yeah, yeah. He was like, he it was his his stream title was like, "Boring ass Ahsoka ruins the Mandalorian" or something. Or something. Uh, he got ratioed hard. Did he? Did he say that though? Like, I mean, I, I know he hates I Ahsoka. It, so. Like his. It, his what he was saying for the couple minutes I tuned in wasn't as harsh as his title. He was clearly just fucking trying to piss people off at the title. Oh, yeah, but yeah. uh but yeah, I, I don't think that she ruins the Mandalorian. I think that we're gonna come up here when something that Sarun of House around ahead it says, so I'll, I'll say it then. Up the ass Franklin for five bucks. Best birthday gift I ever got was my significant other paid for me to have a colonoscopy. Best <laughs> rectal experience ever in a hospital. Ten of ten. Ooh wee, Rick. <laughs> Thank you, up the ass, Franklin. Uh, Sir Road of House rounded for $5. This season of Mandalorian seems like a huge apology for the sequel trilogy. Um, and when you said that, that's what makes you think. When you look at this season of Mandalorian, 
It's literally oh. just been okay. Red Eye. Hey, here's Sorry. this character that you know. Hey, here's this character that you know. Hey, here's this character that you know. Uh, and the the Mandalorian himself, uh, this, the show's really fallen to the wayside. It's all about introducing all these other spinoffs and Shit. characters and things that are happening. Um, you had Boba Fett, you have Bo-Katan, and you have Ahsoka. Uh, hopefully one of these characters actually means something in this fucking show. And I think it'll be Bo-Katan, but I guess we'll see. 